Hello and welcome back to Suncoast Products, your online store where you can buy the ingredients that you need to make the products that you want. Hello, my name is John Carson and I'm the owner of Suncoast Products. Today we're going to start talking about emulsions. This will be a continuing series of web talks and the first one will be an introduction to emulsions and we're going to talk about some of the concepts that are used in emulsions. The first and the easiest one, the one that you're going to be most familiar with, is just simple mixing. So what I've done here is I have water on the bottom and an oil on the top. The oil is medium chain triglycerides. So it's a very common oil that's used in cosmetics and in other things too. This happens to be the cosmetic grade not the food grade. Um, so this is very similar to the situation that you have with salad dressing when you mix olive oil and vinegar. So what you do in that case is just shake it up. Mix it and you form an emulsion. That's why it's opaque. The oil has been mixed, dispersed through the water in this case, and the same thing with uh, salad dressing, where you disperse the olive oil through the vinegar. It makes a mixture. It doesn't last very long. It doesn't last very long with salad dressing, and it doesn't last very long here. You can see that it's already starting to separate. We have a good half inch of uh, oil on the top, medium chain triglyceride, and the water layer is starting to form on the bottom. So we're just going to let that sit here and separate by itself and it's going to be very obvious to you what the problem is. It's not making the emulsion, it's keeping it stable. Hello and welcome back. We've taken a few minute break to allow our <laughs> salad dressing, our pretend emulsion to separate. This was just the physical mixture, the shaking of uh, the oil and the water to get them to mix. So you can see that's separated pretty good. What we're going to do now is try to solve the problem or at least give you some directions as to how to improve the stability to keep the oil and the water together. One of the first things we're going to do is the standard fix, which is to add a small amount of surfactant. This particular surfactant is polysorbate 80. It chemically is PoE 20 sorbitan monooleate. Very nice emulsifier. Uh, very efficient. And let's see what it does in this case. So we're adding about a gram and a half to the same blend of material that we had before, medium chain triglyceride, the MCT, and water. We'll shake that up. Make sure the cap's on tight before you do that. We'll see how this one lasts. Actually, to give us a comparison, let's shake both of them up. So we'll get both of them going here, and we'll see how they separate what their stability is like. So there we go. And we'll take a break for a few minutes and let them separate. Hello and welcome back. I, when we left last time we had shaken up these two bottles. This is the one without an emulsifier and this is the one with the polysorbate 80. And as you can see this one is holding it has an emulsion, and this one has separated. It's a good split there between the oil and the water. Okay, next we're going to do another means to hopefully uh, prevent separation. Let's see if this works. So there's two theories. One is to add a surfactant that breaks up the oil and disperses it fairly uniformly throughout the water. And the other thing is to thicken up the water. What that does is prevents the oil droplets, once they're dispersed, from moving. So it slows them down. 
So if they can't uh, move, they can't bump together and they can't coalesce and then join up uh, into bigger and bigger droplets. So what I have here is a 1% xanthan gum. You're familiar with the xanthan gum. So it's just a solution in water. And we're going to add some of that. Because it's a 1% solution, we're going to have to add a pretty fair amount. So we're going to add about 5 grams total, maybe even a little more. Yeah, that's this is not the recommended way to do it, and you certainly wouldn't do this in making an emulsion um, product, but it just is just to give you an idea. So we'll use that. That should be enough. Yeah, maybe a little more. I want to make sure it thickens up the water enough to uh, to hold it. You can do this yourself by using the thickened uh, balsamic vinegar. You can see the xanthan gum strings in there. I will shake that up. Make sure it's mixed fairly well. And I'm going to try to shake these three up. Actually, I'm going to do this first. No, and there's nothing in it. This one is polysorbate 80. And this will be xanthan, X -A -N, xanthan, so we don't lose them. <coughs> okay, we'll shake them up. Put them down. We're going to wait five minutes and see where they go. Hello, and welcome back. Okay, we now have our three emulsion examples, or three uh, prototype emulsions. This is the first one without any emulsifier or viscosity increaser. And we, as you can see, we have clear separation with oil on the top and water on the bottom. When we added polysorbate 80, we have an emulsion. It's fairly uniform, a little bit of uh, oil on the top, and possibly separation, a little bit of water on the bottom. Maybe. But that's after Oh, now it's 10 minutes, so we're uh, pretty stable. Much more stable than just the water and oil. Xanthan gum, thickening the water, is also working. We have a small oil separation on top. I don't know if, if you can see that, but there's some oil globules on top. And a small water separation on the bottom. It's getting a little clearer on the bottom. But it's much more stable than without the xanthan gum. So, we have two methods, two mechanisms uh, to stabilize emulsions. We'll talk about what happens when you combine them, and that will be our next web talk on emulsions. So have a great day. See you later.